What's going on guys, Rob from clickskate.com. In today's video, we're gonna go through Google Ads Expert, what they are, how they work, and things that you should be looking out for if you're looking to hire one. All right, so what you're looking at right now is inside one of our accounts. This is our own account here. We're running, you can see here, we're running a smart campaign and a generic white label campaign that we just reactivated. Um, before I get into this, actually, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, check out the links in the description. I'm going to put some cool stuff in there for you guys, including a free uh, how, to, how to optimize your Google Ads campaign training series. I have a video training series. I'll throw that in the uh, description. Okay. All right. So what we're looking at here is inside of a well-built Google Ads campaign. Now, what you should be looking for if you're looking to hire a Google Ads expert is to make sure that they're building out proper ad groups, all right? Now, an ad group is just a theme that has all the keywords inside of it are going to be with that theme. It's going to go to ads that have the same theme as well. So let's take White Label PPC as example, or White Label PPC Agency. We'll go into the Agency ad group here. All of the keywords in this ad group, because the ad group theme is White Label PPC Agency, all of the keywords inside here should be all about White Label PPC Agency. Okay? Very important to keep relevancy all throughout your funnel here in Google Ads. So we have our ad group that is white label PPC agency going to having our keywords who are white label PPC agency going to ads that are gonna talk about white label PPC agency stuff. All right, it's really important because that's how you're gonna get higher quality scores and stuff like that. And you can see here, 22 clicks, and we're looking at the lifetime of the campaign, 22 clicks for this ad group. We got 10 leads. A lead is defined as a phone call or a full contact form submission, which in this case for our white label side of the agency is uh, company name, your name, phone number, agency, uh, budget, stuff like that. So it's a big contact form. It's not just name or email or anything like that. All right, so you can kind of see here our cost per conversions. We're running an average of $86 a lead. Now let's look at the ads. We're talking about calling out pain points here, burned by other PPC resellers, which most people have been if they're running wet label Google ads because there's not really that many great companies who do it who know what they're doing. And uh, you can see here, we're just calling out pain points in our ads. We we're, we're, have different ads for running against each other. So we're always going to be optimizing the ads and running the best the best ads we can. So it's really important that when you're when you're looking to hire someone or when you're looking to run ads yourself that you have to have compelling ad copy. You need to understand the intent behind why someone is going to click your ad and go to your website, your landing page. And it's important that whatever you're talking about in your in your ads is actually on the landing page that they're going to once they are taken to the website. So I think this one is actually going to our homepage, which from there it like funnels out and they can decide where they want to go. We give them options for every person every type of traffic that comes to our website has immediate options right displayed in front of them which way they can go off and decide which course they want to take so it's important that you have that your ads are compelling and stuff like that and uh, you can see here we're just calling out benefits no contracts any size agency all-inclusive pricing try PPC that actually works performance guaranteed we've been there we can help white label PPC is all we do so we have all kinds of different little benefits and and pressure points that we're pushing in our ads. So if we go back out into the main campaign here, you're gonna see we have this set up for so many different ad groups. And we probably could have more to be honest, but the white label PPC industry is not really that big. So that's why the campaign is only uh, 15 ad groups. So it's important to understand when you're when you're looking to run campaigns for yourself or you're looking to hire someone to run them for you is that they understand ad groups Keywords, compelling ad copy, all have to be in sync. They all have to be relevant with each other. All right, each ad group should be relevant. So if we go to white label Google Ads, you can see everything we're talking about here is white label Google Ads. Now it's also important to understand you might be if you're new or you're not, you know, nuanced with Google Ads. To understand the different match types around so the match types are these brackets here, the phrase here, and how they work and and what they how they work and what they're used for. Okay, so if you don't know about the match types, make sure you go to our channel, Clicks Geek, and look up the playlist 
um, keyword match types and I go through what each one is. So that's important to understand. You're going to need to know this stuff if you're trying to hire an AdWords expert. Because if they don't, if you can question them, if they don't know this stuff, then, you know, you're going to avoid a catastrophe. So it's, it's better that you understand more about that. So that's something to look out for when you're looking to hire someone, too, is they understand the match types. And again, they understand the ad relevancy with the keywords, how to theme an ad group tightly with keywords, all that stuff. That's all stuff to look out for. And the next one would be, if we get out of here, is negative keywords. You can see here we have a ton of different negative keywords. All right, and it's, it's important to understand that you want, you know how to use negative keywords, and whoever you're going to work with knows how to use negative keywords. Because without negative keywords, you're going to just spend a ton of money that you don't need to be spending, a bunch of wasted money. All right, so that's really important to understand too. And then I would go into ad extensions. All right. So you take them around your site with your site links. Each one of these little call to actions should go to a different page in your website. Then you have more options here, call out, call out more uh, pressure points for your audience, for reasons for them to contact you. Now keep in mind, the point of the extensions is, yeah, it's to drive traffic too, but it's also to take up more real estate on Google's front page. We want our ads to be big. We want them to be as big as possible, take up the most amount of real estate so they stick out the most. Then you can have your structured snippets, which is just more bullet point stuff like that. Your calls, so somebody can call you. And actually, I don't know if this number is still active. I should probably pause that. Again, I just turned this campaign back on. But that's important to understand, guys, is that they know what they're doing when it comes to ad extensions and stuff like that. All right? So if you go out of there, the next most important thing is conversion tracking. You need to make sure that they have conversion tracking fully set up. You got to be able to track contact form submissions. You got to be able to track um, calls from the call extension that you're running. You got to be able to track phone calls from the actual website. If you're not tracking phone calls, you're going to be missing out on a ton of conversions. You're going to have inaccurate data here because the majority of Google Ads leads, at least from the campaigns we run because they're focused this way, are phone calls. So if you're not tracking phone calls, you're going to have inaccurate data and it's going to say, oh, wow, my campaign sucks, when in reality it's really good. You just don't know which keywords or if any are driving you leads, calls, form subs, whatever. So it's important that they understand how to set up call tracking and all that stuff. Now, one of the other things to understand is landing pages. All right, You want to make sure that if you're hiring somebody or you're trying to do this yourself, that you are not just sending the traffic to your website homepage. And I'm sure some website, you know, some some people have really nice websites and they're beautiful and they're designed for conversion. And that's great. I you know if you have one of those, that's excellent. Test sending traffic to it. Just make sure all your conversion tracking is set up correctly. If you don't and you're just trying to build landing pages, make sure you at least go watch, go to our channel again, ClicksGeek, and look up the uh, what's the playlist called? I think it's just called landing pages, the playlist. And I give a bunch of tutorials on how to build landing pages that convert. It's really important because if you're sending, you can have the greatest structured campaign in the world. And if you're sending all this traffic to a dog shit website or a landing page, it's just going to bounce right off the, right off the page. And you're not, you're just going to waste your money. So it's important that you have all this stuff in line, right? You got to have your ad groups with your keywords, with your ads, all with the same message all the way through. Going to a landing page or website that's talking about the same stuff that you're running the traffic to. All right. So if I'm running um, private label PPC keywords to private label PPC ads, it's going to go to a page that talks about private label PPC. All right. Same with white label PPC agency. Same with white label PPC audit. White label PPC company. White label PPC management. They're all going to go each individual ad, and, and you can have as many landing pages as you want. Doesn't matter. The key here is relevancy. You want to have relevancy all the way through the funnel, okay? So that's pretty much what you got to be looking out for. Um, you'll be able just just by what I just told you today, you'll be able to weed out a lot of um, lower tier Google Ads people who you're trying to if you're trying to hire or stuff like that. You'll just run through what I just gave you in this video, and you'll know right away if they're actually know what they're doing or not. Conversion tracking is the biggest one. We we do audits at least twice a week and the people have been running spent thousands of dollars and there's not even conversion tracking set up 
And that's just a huge problem. You, you have no way to know if, if you're getting leads or calls or if they're how much it costs you per lead. I mean, all that stuff's really important. Like when you start a campaign, let me move my big head for a second over here. When you start a campaign, you have to have a a uh, cost per lead in mind here of what you can afford. I mean, if, the, if this was $999 a lead, obviously that's a super unsuccessful campaign for me because I know what I need to get a client for. So I know what I need to get leads for because I know how much we're going to convert of the leads into deals and how much a deal pays us. So you got you to gotta kind of reverse engineer what your goals are and set some very basic goals to begin. Now, keep in mind, it does take time to optimize a campaign. You're not just going to build a nice campaign and turn it on. You're going to have to optimize it. And I'm going to show you quickly. I have, I actually have a train, a free training course that I'll put in the description of this video. It's a video training course, um, three-part video training, where I go through and show you how to optimize campaigns, fully optimize them to keep them getting your cost per lead down week over week and stuff like that. So go check that out. It's in the description of this video. But for now, I'll just kind of glaze over it real quick. So to optimize, you got to look at your keywords. All right, so you're going to go through your keywords, sort by clicks. Usually you want to do it every every seven days or every 30 days. For now, I'm just doing it all time for this account. And you kind of want to look and see, all right, what keywords are killing me here that are too expensive or not converting, and which ones are great. And the ones that are not converting, you're just going to pause them. And this, I don't probably don't have much in here because I've already optimized this campaign. Hence why it gets $90 leads. But let's say like, we go into the search terms report here. These are the actual terms typed into Google that my ad showed for. So if we go down, let's look for something. Free white label reseller PPC in Google ads. All right, so that's something we don't want. We don't want our ads showing for someone looking for free AdWords management. So I would take that keyword, this exact keyword, I would check it, I would add it as a negative keyword to the campaign because I don't want people I don't want my ad showing for someone looking for free services. That doesn't make any sense. And Google will show your ad for stuff like that. That's just how they do it. So that's just kind of one example. It's also finding your winning keywords that you might not be bidding on and adding them to your ad groups here. And if, like I said, if you guys want to learn all the optimization tactics we do, just go through the course, the free course in the description. Um, I think it's called, I forget what it's called actually. To be honest with you, I'm sorry. I think it's like, Google Ads Optimization and Combat Tactics, I think is the uh, the name of the free training. Just check that out and you'll be able to walk through, I walk you through everything, how to optimize the campaign to bring your overall cost per lead down. All right, so if you guys have any questions about um, things you should look out for when hiring a Google Ads guy or for yourself, if you have any questions about how to build a campaign or how to optimize stuff, manage whatever, drop them in the comment section below. And uh, don't forget to check out that free training in the description. And if, like again, if, if you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments.